Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing an unboxing. I was contacted by this brand, this company called No Makino Life, and it is an adorable subscription service. It's an Asian company and this ships straight from Japan and there's going to be a bunch of beauty products in it. So I'm really excited to open it up and I'm going to be doing a test on my face of the product. So that's why I have on like very minimal makeup right now. So let's sit this camera down and I'm going to open this up and hopefully we get some really cute things. So I've dabbled in the past with getting Asian beauty products from other companies. So it's been a while, so that's why I'm really excited to open this up. So let's do this together. So the first thing is this book and it says Harajuku Halloween. And this is really cute. Ooh, oh my God. All right, so there are some stickers inside. This is so cute. I think this is for nail art because I know um, Japanese nail art is like really, really intense and beautiful. And it's all sweets, which is really cute. Next, we have this Bling Cat eye patch. It's a pure and mild, a calming, balancing skincare for smooth, refreshed skin. This is so cute. Okay, so this is the mask. This is so funny. All right, so I can't put this on. It's also nice that it's not a full face mask. Never tried one like this, so this will be fun for a nice little spa night. We have another mask. This one is a pumpkin rejuvenate mask. And this has a real pumpkin, and this is a full sheet mask. Very cute. It has 10 kinds of oriental extract complexes and botanical extract to provide rich nourishment to both coarse and dried skin. So two face masks, very nice, very appropriate for the season. Next we have, oh my gosh, what is this? This looks like lip gloss. So it looks like a little monster. This is so funny. This is a Momokos. Let's open this up. It's pink and blue, which is quite scary, not gonna lie. Okay, let's try this on. Okay, so it looks colored, but it's actually clear. Oh, this reminds me of being a kid again. Like when you get these cute little glosses and it smells like really fruity, it reminds me of my childhood. This is so fun. Next, we have this Happy Halloween Bath Powder. So I'm assuming this is like, like a bath salt, but it's a powder. It's very fine, I can feel it. This is so cute. And I don't know what the ingredients are because everything is in Japanese. So I'm gonna put this aside. This is cute, okay. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, so <laughs> here we have, this is what I was hoping for. This is a makeup palette and it has a character. Gilgamesh. It looks like it's a little fantasy, fantasy character man. It looks like a little fantasy guy. This is so cute. So I'm going to open this up. Oh, thank God. It's just like taped together. Oh, wow. This is Sanrio licensed. I don't know who Gilgamesh is, but he's adorable. So let's open it up together. Oh, okay. Something's falling out. It's just the plastic. How cute. Okay, so this is eyeshadow and lip and cheek. So I'm going to try the eyeshadow out. On my eyes, I just have on something in my crease color and like just really nothing. I'm gonna try out this creamy shade first. I'm like bending down in the most awkward way possible. Not bad. Next, let's do the gold. Pretty. Then I'm going to use, let's do the brown next and darken up the outer corner. And they all have a bit of shimmer. It's definitely an Asian beauty thing. I feel like they all have shimmer in their eyeshadows, which I actually like. And the last color is this berry shade. I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. It's quite a soft pink. It's not super pigmented, which is really nice because it's just the slightest bit of color. 
without being so overpowering. I'm going to use that gold and do the inner corner. Just works better for my skin tone rather than that really pale color. I'm kind of scared to do the cheeks, but I did not set my cheeks, so hopefully this works out. Let's do a swatch first. It's very soft. Oh, okay. Not that scared. Here we go. There's a certain part of my cheek right here that just does not hold on to cream blush very well. It's something that I'm noticing. The blush looks really nice. I like that it's a universal color because it works for people like me. I feel like even if you were darker than me, it would still show up because it would just be like a very nice orange tint. And I think the eyeshadow looks really good. It like blended out really easily. And I mean, the shades are very fall and this packaging is adorable with this little dude. And he's like a Renaissance man. I love that. I love Renaissance like time period stuff. Next thing we have is, ooh, okay, Pop Evil. This is a little uh, evil looking character, really cute. And it's a color treatment. What does that mean? Ash Violet. Well, <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work out for me because my hair is black. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna have to look in the book to see what exactly this is. And the last thing is this Eye mask, relax, and beauty. Huh. So this has little massagers and you put it on, but I feel like these are little pressure point things. So that's cool. It would hook around your ears. Okay, so it's, ah, oh, yeah. It's definitely like a pressure point thing. Oh, that feels so nice. Wow. This is a really good idea because it's just hitting all the right spots. I'm not gonna go here because I don't wanna ruin anything. Okay, let's take this off. Oh shoot, I knew I would ruin the blush. It's fine, I'll just put on some more. <laughs> so let's go back into the book and see exactly if that is a hair color or not. So the book does feature um, people that are unboxing this, people that got it. Um, it can be featured on their page. You can get a surprise. So they tell you what country each product is from. Like they have things from um, Korea and Japan. And let's see where that uh, other thing is. So the pop double color treatment is, let's see, hair color, hair dye. So the items are randomized and they show you all the options like in any other subscription service. So in each category, like there were two makeup palettes you could have gotten and they had different hair dyes and different stickers and everything else you get one of. You can also enter contests by using their hashtag on Instagram. So you can win like this bundle right here, which I think is really cool. They even have a cute horoscope. What is mine? Let's see, I'm a Gemini. I have Maleficent. Mm. So that is my unboxing of the Nomakino Life box. I thought this was really fun and I really enjoyed all the products, especially this little makeup palette. This is so adorable. And I think that it's a pretty universal. Like the gloss scared me at first, but it's clear. I actually wanna try this on my lips because I did not do that. Hmm, it's like a nice orange. Really cute. So depending on the subscription service that you get, you can either get 12 months, six months, three months, or monthly. The price will change. So it's from $31.50 to $35. So if you just got one box, it would be $35 and you get eight to nine beauty products. So it comes with two Instagrammable beauty products, one beauty tool made in Japan or Korea, and five to six beauty products. And I feel like the products are really curated to be like simple and not too out there because I was kind of scared that I would get something really out there and that I wouldn't use, but this was really cool. So if you guys are interested and you thought my video was helpful, I do have an affiliate link down below and that would really help me out. And I appreciate it if you used it, if you were interested. I think this would be a really cute gift for you or for someone else that just is into cute stuff or just Asian beauty products in general. So without further ado, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're having a magical day. I'll see you in the next one.